How we doing folks? This is the crazy chef again coming to you live. Today we're going to do a nice vegetable dish. And we're going to do a dish that uh, is one of seven distinctive vegetables from the wild cabbage. Now we have the cabbage, the cauliflower, the broccoli, the kale, the collard, kohl, and rabi. But the one we're going to do is the Brussels sprouts, ladies and gentlemen. Now the Brussels sprouts, we're going to show you how to cook them. When you pick them, just make sure they're firm. And we're going to get going here with the ingredients today. Our ingredients are, of course, you have to have the Brussels sprout. Do you think they're called Brussels sprouts because they come from Brussels? I don't know. When I was in Brussels, a dish of Brussels sprouts and a Belgian beer, my God, I have gas for a week. Now, you got to clean them. So the main thing in cleaning a Brussels sprout is you pull the leaves off that are limp or discolored. And once you've done that, as you can see here, we are going to well, my grandma, what she used to tell us when we were over, she used to get us grandchildren by, and she used to say, okay, children, come here. She used to say, I got a trick for you. While she was cleaning the Brussels sprouts, she used to tell us, I want you to put an X for me, a shallow X at the bottom of the Brussels sprout. And you know what? She says that made it cook evenly throughout the Brussels sprouts. Now, if that's true or not, I don't know. But we are not going to cook them whole. We're going to cut them up because these are pretty big. So we're going to cut them up, folks. And here they are cut up. Can you see that pretty good? They're all cut up. So they're ready to go. They're cleaned, cut. So the other ingredients we need... We need one onion, folks, one yellow onion. You can use green onions, chives, but a regular onion is fine. Oak pepper to taste. And our favorite, of course, garlic, granulated garlic. Remember, it's good for your health. All right, and that's basically it. So now what we're going to do, we are going to, well, you can steam them, boil them, blanch them, but don't fry them, people. Don't put them fried. You gotta steam them. We're gonna steam today. So our next step, after we've cleaned, we've cut them, we're gonna go into the steaming process. And you, you're gonna need a th three quart pot and about an inch of water in there. And we got a couple of items. This came with the pot. It's a steamer. But I like this old fashioned one. It opens up, look at that you expect to see Venus come flying out of here. But that's it. So if you have one of these, that's fine. If you don't have these, just put them straight in the water. It's not a problem. So the next step is we're going to go over to the uh, stovetop and we're going to get going into the steaming process. Okay, folks. So now we've got the waters boiling. we got our steam rack in there. Like I told you, if you have one, fine. If you don't, you can put them straight into the boiling water. Now we got our Brussels sprouts that are all cleaned, cut up, and we're going to put them in there. Now remember, I forgot to tell you earlier, if you might want to rinse them a little bit and then uh, pat dry them, but uh, a lot of times they're pretty clean once you d take the leaves off. So now we're going to put them in there and steam them. Uh, steam takes a little longer. If you put them straight in the water, I would say 10 minutes. If you're going to steam them, folks, go at least 15 and then a good way to check them is to uh, see the stem and see uh, that they're tender when pierced. Once they're tender when they, you pierce them with a fork or a point of a knife, then you know that they're ready to come out. And now the next step after this, we're going to uh, get a skillet. We're going to get that onion that we had. We're going to chop it up, dice it, whatever, and we'll go to the next step. After they're steamed, you want to take them out, strain them, pat dry them, and then we'll go to the skillet and we'll show you how to do that part of it. 
Okay folks, as you can see, they're nice and tender and we're straight in the process of straining them now. As we wait for them to strain, we got our skillet over here with your favorite oil, well, whatever it is, even olive oil, which I always say don't use it for cooking, but even olive oil, corn oil, whatever oil you like, and this is going to be to saute the onions, and then we'll saute the uh, Brussels sprouts. So I think it's warm enough. Yeah, that's my assistant's going to put in the oven. Oh, listen to that sizzling sound. Now the whole idea here is, folks, we want these onions to be translucent. So you want them cut pretty thin, as you can tell. You don't want them chunk. But we're going to make them translucent to where you can see the bottom of the skillet. And after we do that, then we're going to go to the next step. The main one right now is to get these nice and golden and translucent. Okay, folks, look at that. Beautiful. Got those onions going there. So now I would say that we're ready to saute the Brussels sprouts. Now we had them sitting there straining. So these are all done. The heat is still on. So let's get the Brussels sprouts and put them into the skillet. Oh, yeah. What a beautiful sound. My beautiful assistant, as always. Yeah. A beautiful sound. Now this is a good time as you're sauteing the Brussels sprouts now to get your spices going. Now I don't like to use salt but we do have salt. Very little, very little salt. I don't like it that much. Pepper, yeah you gotta have some pepper. Black pepper is always good for you. And of course our favorite, you gotta have some granulated garlic. A little more the better. Good for your blood pressure. And we stir that in just until the Brussels sprouts get warm and you're ready to go. Now other spices that go good with Brussels sprouts are parsley, basil, rosemary, and thyme. This is starting to sound like a song from the mamas and the papas, but it's not. Those all go real good with Brussels sprouts. Now as you see, we sauteed it in there. Use the spices you like. If you want more pepper, put more pepper. If you want to saute, you know, like I said, that's up to you how you want it. So now we have sauteed them. We got them to where they're going to be warm, the Brussels sprouts, and then we're going to dish. So our next step is to dish them out. Okay, folks, so we are almost ready to plate. But I want to mention a few things before we plate, and, and that is that this is a very healthy vegetarian dish. Now you can use it as a dish on its own and make a meal out of it. You can use it as a, a condiment to cover uh, on the side. You can cook some rice or some pasta and mix this in and you got a vegetarian dish that is really, really di delicious and very healthy. Very, very healthy. Brussels sprouts, like all the other cabbage family, very full of uh, all kinds of minerals. All kinds of minerals. So now we are going to dish the sautéed Brussels sprouts out. Oh, I can smell that garlic, folks. That is intense. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. She does a good job. All right. Now, of course, like always, I have to taste some folks. Now, it looks delicious. Like I said, you can use it as a, on, a, on its own or with other dishes. It's a real good dish with rice. You mix it in with the rice or the pasta. But anyway, here we go. Mmm. That's al dente. That is perfect. Spot on. Spot on, ladies and gentlemen. Spot on. I would, if anything, I would probably put a little more garlic in there. Now when you serve this hot, if you're serving as individual, I'd get some olive oil and sprinkle it on top. That gives it that little hoof to go. Just regular room temperature olive oil. Sprinkle some of it on top and you got flavors that don't never end. In fact, you know what folks, I gotta have another one. Mmm. Can you hear that crunching? That's not my tooth. 
That's the Brussels sprout. Fantastic. It's a great vegetarian dish. You can add meats to it too if you don't want just vegetarian. But this is the way to cook Brussels sprouts. What we're trying to show you is how to saute Brussels sprouts and get the best out of the product that we're using. I hope you enjoy this and may health be with you forever.